Hello everyone, it's great to see you guys again. Welcome back to Logimat 2019 in Stuttgart, Germany, and welcome back to our Junge Heinrich booth. Now my name is Thomas, and I'm standing right in front of the newest member of an entirely new family of vertical order pickers from Jung Heinrich, and that is the EKS 412S. Now also with me this afternoon is Jung Heinrich expert Ramanathan, who is truly in love with not only that truck, but this one in particular. Thomas, my wife is not gonna be very happy about it. We are, for sure, because we saw you last <laughs> night. Anyway, now Ram, first of all, maybe you can give us a brief introduction on this truck here. Why did uh, Jung Heinrich develop a complete new EKS series? So, at, at Jung Heinrich, you know, Thomas, that we take our customers' feedback and their requirements quite seriously. Um, our, just our presence here is an indication to show to our customers how much of their valuable feedback that we've taken seriously and implemented it. So. We've been hearing from our customers in the past that there have been some enormous amount of challenges in the order picking segment. And this is primarily driven by the enormous amount of growth in the e-commerce sector. So the main challenge is the aging of the society and the well-being for the employee. And that means ergonomics emphasis. The second aspect is growing horizontally has become extremely expensive. So the customers asking, demanding from us that we're able to go to new heights because vertical growth seems to be the only possibility for a customer. Thirdly, is the, is, the, is, the, is the trend of a single unit picking. And what that means is the customer wants to buy only one truck and use this particular truck for picking up all varieties of products in the, in the, in the warehouse. And that means you need to have a higher picking rate, number one. Secondly, it screams efficiency. And finally is the flexibility. Customers don't want to buy a product off the shelf anymore. They want to have tailored solutions that made for them that meets their demand, and that's what they need. So all of these challenges that's posed on us helped us develop this new particular truck so we will be able to fulfill the demand. So obviously ergonomics once again plays a decisive role here. So Absolutely. let's have a look at yep. the operator experience. And what's the first thing the operator does? He enters the platform. So let's do that. Now, one of the first things I notice here is that the entering height is extremely low, which means this is just a very small step. Why is that very important? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question you're asking because what we've done in the development of this particular truck is we have considered a huge set of drivers. We did a study of our own drivers who've got uh, a different levels of experience and with body dimensions. So when we looked at the varieties of aspect, we found that from the data point, this is one of the optimally, uh, optimally placed height for somebody to get in, depend regardless of your body size. So when you first come in from an ergonomic standpoint that we mentioned, is what you see is this security gate. It's, it's quite stable, but yet again, on the other hand, it's very, very easy. You can lift it with just one finger up. Secondly, if imagine you're a driver who's picking up goods from the warehouse, you have to pick it manually. If you have to go forward like this, you're putting stress on your back. So this is why I love the passion of our engineers and our designers when they develop this truck, because they even consider tiny aspects of ergonomics. So when you now, if you want to pick without straining your back, you can just go like this and pick the goods straight from. So this is the second aspect of the ergonomics. So when you now come in, I will show you because look at this mat. First, you have lots of space and you have this ergonomic mat that makes you feel comfortable if you're going to stand and work on it for nine hours a day, going up and down. And all the controls you have and everything is in hand reach, so you don't have to struggle because all of this revision, what we've done on this truck, yeah. is based on pure feedback from our own drivers, which helps them develop. One of the critical uh, development that I want to mention is if you're a new driver, who does not have experience on it, you can drive this truck with just one hand. All you need is just three, three fingers. You hold this truck, this makes you go forward and backward to lift, go up and down just with this finger and with the other finger, you can lift your, your fox. So there is a significant amount of effort that's gone into thinking what really matters to our operators who's going to stand on it and work on it for nine hours a day, five days a week. 
Now, as you turn around, yeah. we also see that we have a lot of window space here to see where you're going. And we do not only have this huge window here in the center that gives yeah. you perfect vision, but we also have those little side windows. And once again, this kind of reminds me of what you just said before, because it sounds like a small change, but actually it does make quite a difference. Why it's is quite, that? Quite rightly, because if you if this is your driving direction. So if you're going to drive it this way, imagine if someone's going to come from the side, you will have a blind spot if this is not if this is not transparent. So this is also one of the safety aspects that we consciously develop because it's going to be a lot of work for us in production, but it adds value to our customers because it brings safety into the warehouse. So these are things that we take very seriously at Yuma Heinrich. Well, and this leads us to our next highlight here, and this is the completely newly designed three-piece design mast. Yeah. This is a high-performance mast. Like I said, it yeah. consists of three pieces. It moves out seamlessly, which yep. means it doesn't have any transitions. Why is that? <laughs> it's, it's a good thing that you pointed out, number one. There are three things that I have to mention about this particular mask. Number one is it's a high performance mask, and that can go to a height of 14 meters, which is benchmark in the particular industry. Which is all, it can go, because it's going, it can go up to 14 meters, you're able to pick goods at a greater height. And as against competition, it's already a 15% increase. And number two, which is quite unusual for a triple mast, if you understand how masts work, because when the mast is going up one from the other, there's always a transition and you feel this bump, which is also an ergonomic thing. When you stand on it, if you always feel the bump, it's easy on your back. It's going to hurt your back. So this, on the other hand, this particular uh, feature together will make it go significantly quicker. The speed of it together is almost about 0.5 meter a second, which is 35% more than in the, market, in the market competition. All right, now we do want to see this seamless and transition-free mast in action. And uh, not by coincidence, we do have a showcase prepared over there. And the next thing, the other thing that we're also going to look at is the Jung Heinrich Warehouse Navigation. What is that all about? <laughs> it, it is a good question you're asking, um, uh, Thomas, because imagine you have a nice high-end sports car, and then you have to go to an address to pick up something and your car doesn't have a navigation system, how would you feel about it? Well, I'd be lost. <laughs> That's the thing. A warehouse navigation system, what we've developed for Jung Heinrich, will educate a driver and takes the stress off a driver. He knows exactly where to go. Imagine, this is the rack what you have. This is just one rack in a warehouse that, that you're seeing in front of you. In a warehouse, you have 10 of them. Imagine you have 10s on 15 of them, and you have to go and pick the right good you need a certain amount of guidance. And particularly if you're a new driver, you're going to lose a lot of time. So our navigation system shows you exactly where to go. Okay. And let's go and have a look. All right, let's have a shot. Well, maybe so, I should enter first so, the, so that you can navigate here. Yeah. Okay, you can operate. Yeah, All right, sure. let me just we slide over. And of course, we also need our camera guy. And I know he's a little scared of heights, <laughs> just like me, to be honest. We're not going up quite 14 meters here. We think we're going up to five to six meters. But I can tell you what. It so, is a challenge for me. So, all right. Here what starts are we doing? the question. Number one, this is your navigation because this is something you get from the warehouse management system. What good, as an operator, you're supposed to pick up next? So, pick a choice that you have. Well, I have the gummy beers for sure. Uh, all right. There we I'm are. not surprised you're a German. <laughs> so, there we are. We're standing on it as an operator. All you have to do. As I said, just one hand. The other hand is always a security function, so I'm going to drop the mic for a second. Or can you hold it, please? Okay, well, I'm going to hold it for you. Thank you. So, you have to hold a hand here, which is a security feature, and all you have to do is go up and down. So, we'll see. And as you go up, do you even see that the mass is extending? And you're going to almost the greatest height in this particular rack. In, in this particular rack. Do you feel any of the stress coming on back on you? I do feel some stress, to be honest, but that's the height. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now, here's your mic again. Now you will see, automatically, okay. you can see on the display, number one, mm -hmm. it will show you you have to look on the right. Mm -hmm. And it will show you what good to pick. And secondly, it's also an indication, there's a light that glows and that shows what mm -hmm. you should pick. Okay. So you, the, as, a, as an operator, you pick the good, you put it in your basket, and that's pretty much it. You know what? I think I'm kind of getting used to the height here. And actually, we do have a beautiful view over the entire Jung Heinrich booth. Now, just to sum this up now, what are like the three main points that you would like to emphasize once again about the new EKS series? Number one is the performance of the mast. Uh, in my personal understanding of it, this truck classically defines economics more and more, less and less. 
That means in translated in an operator world, you get the highest amount of performance from the lowest amount of energy consumption. One is the must, and the second one is the ergonomics aspect of it, how comfortable you feel. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is the safety aspect of it, which will give you a complete clean sight, no blind, blind spots, and the navigation system. This is what I would really mention. At the end of the day, we have a great truck. At the, we would be very happy when the sales of it goes high, but what's more important for us is how our customer feels about it, if it value adds to our customers, because we want to stay close to our customers and fulfill their demands. If we've not achieved it, we haven't done a great job. Once again, I can feel you are in love with the thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to check mark this item here, yep. and uh, at this point I would like to say goodbye to all of our viewers. It's great that you tuned in, and if you have any further questions regarding the new EKS series, please do not forget to drop us a comment down there in the comment section, and we'll try to answer all of your questions as quickly as anyhow possible. One more thing, one more thing. We do also have the largest truck that we have on display here um, tomorrow. We will talk about it, it's the EFG um, uh, six series. Yeah. It is a huge truck. It's right over there. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a monster truck. <laughs> and in case you already have any questions regarding the new FG series, please also do not forget to drop us your questions right here. So now we're going down again. Thank you very much. And once again, this looks beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Enjoy logging. Thank Mars. you, Ram.